guys what's up Rajat from VFX world welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in this video I'll completely talk about cinema 4d dynamics so let's get started So guys, 75.4% people are not subscribing my channel whenever they come to watch my video. So I request to all of you that please do subscribe whenever you come and watch my tutorials. Now let's get back to tutorial. So guys, right now we are in Cinema 4D version R19 and trust me, in this video, you guys will have a lot of fun. So please don't skip the video, watch it completely and make sure you have to comment, subscribe and share. Okay, so to create this kind of things, we have to create some basic primitives. So let's take some cube here and make it to 20 by 20 by 20 and just make it to here and just simply just have to make this fillet option and just simply make it to one. So now what happened, we will get some this kind of chamfers kind of things. Okay, so now let's take another one like this one and change it to this and make the size should be 20. So this will become just like that. Okay, let's decrease the size to 15. Okay, now take another shape. So what you can suggest, let's take a sphere. Okay, and just decrease the size to 20 or maybe 15. Okay, so these are the my basic three primitives here. Now before moving forward, I just have to apply some materials here. So I'm just having apply some basic materials. So press Ctrl N N N. So to get three the materials here. So simply drag and drop to apply those materials on it. And let's see some basic color changes. So double click on here. You can find out this kind of colors. So let's see this one something like blue. And uh, this one is like basic, very, very basic material so that you can recognize all the materials should be properly, how it will react and all. So just make it to something RGB kind of thing. Okay. Now these are the my basic three primitives. Now select all these three. Now from MoGraph, I have to take this cloner. Now select all these three and drag and drop under this cloner. So what happened? This will become start getting cloned. Now select the cloner from here. Count should be something 35 and change this one to let's become decrease it a bit like this okay this is this is fine okay now what happened you have to select this cloner and right now no need this now you have to take from more graph this is called more text here now select this more text and now you have to change it from left to middle so now what you can see exactly this is completely in center move it a bit top like that okay that's it just a bit up that's it now select this text and we have to animate this but before that we have to increase the frame range to 300 frames this is pretty nice now select more text first this is 5 make a keyframe on the very first frame and now go to something 50th number frame and change it to 4 and make another keyframe same thing on 100 number frame something around 100 number frame and change it to uh, like 3 make another keyframe and then 150 make it to 2 and make another keyframe and 200 number frame and make it to 1 keyframe here and then last 250 where it is 250 and make it to 0 okay and then another keyframe like that okay so that this is like a basic very animation let's play this this is 5 and then 4 and then obviously 3 2 1 okay keyframes are done let's change the text to something different because this is very 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 flat so i just want to change it to some like basic aerial kind of thing so let's change it to aerial black so it will become just like that or else you can change it to normal aerial yes this is also pretty nice now select the more texture and from here you have to select this connect one okay now select the more text and drag under this connect tag now you can see the connection is exactly connect to more text with the entire text module okay so now what you have to do select the cloner from linear change it to object mode where is this object tag just select the connect and just release it here now what you have to do just turn on the cloner and you can exactly see all the materials are getting connected here now select more text we don't need to see it right now so hide it here now from cloner what you have to do this is distributing very badly so now what happened just change from irritate to random so now it's getting randomized and from vertex the distribution from vertex change it to volume so now it's getting some five kind of thing like volumes are getting five four three two one getting it my point okay now go to the first frame now you have to some make size randomization because there is a lot of other difference just change the count value to 150 pretty big select the cloner now from more graph effector i just have to apply this random effector 
Now when you click this, it will become just like that. Now select the random and then parameters, turn off the positions because we don't need that. Select the scale, uniform scale and change it to like 0.6 or else change it to 0.5. And then rotations, changing some different like 95, 45, minus 90, some different different kind of rotations and all. Now if you notice these are like pretty pretty big so what you have to do just select the cloner all these three and just simply press shift and select all these three and now simply just scale it down a bit just a bit like that okay so now all the things are getting scaled down and yes i think this much is pretty nice okay if you really want to increase the cloner here just from this you just have to 200 so it will become big like this now the spheres are getting a little bit of bigger so just make it decrease its size a bit down and this one should be pretty big just like that okay so this is nice the shapes are getting here let's check how the exact shapes are here like two three one okay rest looking awesome now after that what we have to do we have to make some animation or you can call this as in like dynamic stuffs and all so now select the cloner we need a flow to generate this kind of thing so just select this as in like flow you can use like normal plane here from here just take a normal plane i'm just selecting like as in like normal flow here so this will become our collider okay okay so now let's start some dynamic stuff so what you have to do just select this cloner and control select this flow right click and then simulation tag you just have to click this rigid body tag so when you click this rigid body tag you can automatically see the floor will getting as in like collider tag and this will become as in like normal rigid body or like normal tag so what happened when you play this now it will become a complete solid object see but we need all the particles or all the primitives should be float or dynamically activated each and every part so what you have to do select this and now you have this find options here go to the masses and then collisions you can find out this individual elements just turn on to all now when you play this it will become a blast because all the materials and all the particles are getting collide to each other so for that what you have to do when you play this see this will become blast okay so now what happened you can exactly do some animation stuff here just go to this force and when you change the flow positions to one let's see what happened when you play this it will become blast and then collide to each other so this is the way you can exactly do the falling animation as well yes now select the cloner and uh, the force opacity you have to just animate to like 10 by 10 so now what happened when you play this see this is 5 and then 4 see and then 3 and then 2 and one and last is like your zero now this is a very very basic kind of things you can exactly render it out this is also another very good example of the animation but i think the sizes are pretty big and again i just have to decrease the size just a bit you can exactly increase the value from here to something 300 so now it's getting too much so now you can exactly see this is uh, and i think no this is this is pretty big so what i have to do just make it to 250 yes now it's fine Okay, so the particles are looking awesome. I just have to increase this particle size to bit high so that it will become a highlight. Okay, so now we'll have to animate this uh, like force to that it will become falling down and getting back to the normal positions. So let's start animating this. So when you have to go to this 20th number frame, just turn on this two and make it like 10 and then go to the next frame and change it to zero by zero, make a keyframe here and now go to 50th number frame just like 50th number frame and same thing make another keyframe here and then go to 65 number frame and then make it to 10 by 10 okay make another keyframes like this now go to the first one and let's see what happened it's getting down and getting up okay pretty nice right so let's see once again getting down and getting up okay pretty nice so we have to make sure this animation should be on each and every keyframes so for that what you have to do select the cloner from window go to this timeline top sheet okay where you can find out this is like a keyframes so you have to copy this keyframes for each and every parts so just simply control and click and drag and let's match this to adding just like that and match with this just a bit and match it just like that just match it like that okay now when you play this let's see what happened see it will become going down and up and then see this is kind of blast kind of thing because all these keyframes positions are very very like close to each other you have to fix this out now select these first keyframes just keyframes like this like this and then 
move it to like this much okay now see what happened when you play this it's going down up going down up going down and up and going down and up okay pretty nice so this is the way and now you can see a few particles are getting bigger so just change the random seeds to 1500 so the seeds are getting changed and now let's play it once again and this is the animation it's completely done like this now you can exactly render it out from cinema 4d or else you can export this on any other three-dimensional software than obj sequence and then you can simply render it out with your own preferable choice so guys this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this amazing cinema 4d dynamics tutorial from my this channel vfx world and if you really enjoyed this amazing video then please make sure hit the subscribe button and also follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below i will see you in my next video with some more amazing content till then have fun stay home keep rocking keep watching vfx world